Hey guys, welcome back to the Invincible. My name is Twitchy, playing the role of Yasna. The metal flies, wipe our brains. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hit the playlist link in the top right. To deal with that whole mess, we've joined forces with the last survivor from the Alliance, who unfortunately betrayed us, ran away. He's now hiding in their big capital ship, the Condor, which of course I'm now making entry to. I'm entering the cargo hold. Wish me luck, Astrogator. Good luck, Yasna. Thank you. Huge. Oh, I think things are suddenly... Uh, why is the... No, I thought the door was... The door is closing. I don't like that. I'm, I don't like the way I have passed out as well. That That's that's kind of unfortunate. I know they're trying to be like, oh, she blinked, and then uh, hiding a loading scene in it, because, man, that was a thing. Uh, Condor. Uh, he hasn't entered one of the most powerful spaces in all of the Alliance. Yes. Yes, this place looks terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. How are they moving these vehicles up and down the stack? Look, there, there's an elevator back there. Okay, just as I thought of the question, they provide an answer. Hmm, yes, yeah, there are some problems here. Lots of dead bodies around. Could that... Am I going for a walk around? Am I really... I've, I've got a feeling there's not much... Oh, here we go. Uh, senior service technician, I am writing to, uh, why is it always like three pages long? I'm writing to you as the proce as procedures dictate as you, you yourself suggest during the conversation, namely through formal means. Therefore, I am compelled to repeat in writing what I've already communicated to you verbally. And with like a thousand words, I might point out, like that, that's all like, hey, getting back to you. During our last reconnaissance mission, the following incident occurred. After our column of vehicles had crossed a buried tumbleweed of something resembling metallic wires, one leg of the antimat snag into a crevice, invisible to me and our other navigators. Then, two Arctans jumped off the vehicle to free the trap machine. The task was successfully accomplished, albeit one of the Arctans sustained damage as a consequence of the maneuver. As a result, it has been confined to the service sector for over a week. I repeat, a week. I understand that Arctans fall under the category of equipment treated as cannon fodder. This is how I interpret their activity in the harshest conditions. On unexplored burning planets, on frozen landscapes, or on crevasse-covered deserts like this. And that was their intention of their constructors. I presume that I should also understand that the time required to repair comically oversized ro robotic feet must also exceed the standards directed by common sense in the case of such straightforward maintenance operation. One can assume that my cognitive functions are severely limited in this field because it boggles my mind. Damn. And that is possible to delay the repairs that much. Therefore, I'd like to appeal to your sense of professional ethics and to empathize that the aforementioned Arctan belonging to my division may not be a fully fledged member of the mission, but he represents an asset for which you, I, and the entire Alliance, as its noble creators, should be responsible. Respectfully, Navigator Yoren. I want my robot back. Is this the robot? Has it got a, ro has it got a messed up foot? I don't know. I'm not sure how we, how we find out. What are they picking up here? Big old, big old um, tools, whatever they are. I feel like I want to go and explore in amongst these big machines, but I, I'm also feeling like I'm not meant to. You know, they they don't want me to be here. This is just backdrop. But I, I don't know. I, I, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to walk around. I've got to find. May, maybe there's another like hidden grave somewhere where we can try and interpret another bit of environmental storytelling. That that would be great. But I don't think there is any. I did a once round. It it's just lots of big machines. Okay, that that's fine. Is this the same bodies from which we we walked in the first time? Yeah, I think so. I think this is yeah three two. All right, cool. Let, let's go in and press the button. Everything looks relatively normal here. Whew. Elevators take a while no matter where you are. Normally they give you something to look at or do whilst you wait for the elevator. Um, I think I can hear it moving. I can't press the button again as is the standard way of telling an elevator you want to go a little bit faster. Hey, can we... I'm listening. I'm li do you hear it? Do you hear it? I hear it. There we go. All right, beautiful. There was just a moment of pause breath there. Condor. He came after all. Hello. In vain. The elevator won't start without a card. I can't give you mine, so... Uh, I'll be fine with it. 
Suit yourself. I'll manage on my own. What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. Press the button. <laughs> I'll figure something out. Just don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Good gracious. Over and out. Okay, that, that's fine. Well, that that's the bridge button, right? Just, just had to be sure. There's a card reader. I mean, I wonder where we're going to find a card from. Uh, it, wait, was there a thing there? I felt like there was a thing. No, I'm just, I'm just actually going crazy. Okay, over here. Do any of you have a card? Turns out these guys don't have a card. Do either of you? Look, this, this one's on his front. Surely it's on his back pocket. No, okay. Now, I was kind of just expecting it to be right there, if I'm to be honest. I was not expecting to... Ooh. Are we climbing the entire ship? Is is that what we're expected to do? That would be kind of crazy if that is what we're expected to do. But fine. Why does Rohitra have clearance for the deck, for the bridge? But none of those guys. Is it? What? Why, why are you saying it's a one-way trip? It, there's a two-way lever there. Why would you say this is a... What? Oh. oh, we're carrying on. All right, I want to I wanna see the, the floors as they go past. Nice, nice. So we can see the equipment. We can see the walkways in the middle. I mean, from the outside, this definitely looked more than... What, we've got six floors here? Something like that. There, there best be... Oh, is it broken? There best be more that we don't see. I mean, there kind of has to be for the engines and such forth, right? But where's the engineering? Like, it's not like these military vessels like hide stuff away from the crew, right? Yeah, interesting. All right, so we found. What? What are you over here? You look like you might have at least breathing apparatus. Uh, we've, we've found the place again. Is this going to take me to the upper deck? Okay. You like it or not, I'm coming to you, Rahitra. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do this together, man. We're going to do this together. I, I wish I could tell him that. Oh, close my eyes. Just a, just a small rest, a little micro sleep. Nothing to worry about. Okay, top floor. Get to the bridge. I've opened my visor. Is that is that smart? Okay. Okay. Not quite at the bridge yet, but I'm getting closer. Much closer, Rahitra. I mean, I said something about finding a radio. I don't seem to have done that. I really would like to talk to Astrogate. As much as, much as I think he's a bit of an ass, uh, I would actually like to keep in contact with someone that I know is not trying to actively kill me. Uh, I don't know for certain that Rahitra isn't trying to actively kill me right now. He he is still Ooh, medical bay. Yes, please. Let's go and have it a look. Must be the medical wing. There's got to be surprisingly everything's still running. Got to be safe for me somewhere. Was Rahitra here? Uh, he must have been, right? Because like, oh, hello. What have we got here? Is that a card? Is that an ID card? Different sections. Different elevator cards? Ah, oh, they really overdo it with the security measures around here. No, I mean, I can understand. I guess I still have some time to look around. I mean, I totally understand why you want to separate, you know, your bridge from the rest of the vehicle. That, that, that's, that's the thing that, you know, can crash stuff into. What's the noise? I'll be honest, that made me worry. Oh, hello shower i'd love a shower i've not i've not had a shower for days i've been in the desert just running around oh my god look at this soap wait soap 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 oh, someone tried to eat soap oh look there okay so we're talking about the two guys that got their brains wiped right blatantly that door's not working okay i'll accept that that's that's fine in here can i press a button no buttons to press Sure, what we got? Hydrogen, approximately seventy-four percent. Helium, approximately twenty-four. Pretty standard. That's um, it's fairly early type, right? Oh wait, no, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Mars. That's our type. I mean, mm -hmm. then 
there's a few elements in there. All right, whatever. Mercury atmosphere is very thin and consists mainly of helium, approximately 42% traces of oxygen, sodium, nitrogen. I mean, to say that Mercury's atmosphere is very thin is a bit of an understatement. It's a... It's passes into the region of what we call an exosphere where it's just like gas holding on uh, the atmosphere of Venus is thick and consists mostly of carbon dioxide, 96% nitrogen, 3% and other gases such as sulfur dioxide makes the, makes the sulfuric um, sulfuric acid uh, the atmosphere of Mars is thin and consists mainly of carbon dioxide and nitrogen and then we got like the solar system down below. I see they, they stopped at Mars and didn't want to say whether Ceres existed or not. I mean, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Embrace the infinite. I'm expecting... Oh, wow. I was about to say I'm expecting to find... Oh. Some, like, unconscious people. Like, the people who've had their brains wiped. I wasn't expecting to find more dead people. The patient on the day of administration, or of mid admission, sorry, organ function is normal, body temperature normal, C CRP normal, visible anxiety disorders affecting dis disp dispone. I don't know how to pronounce that. We'll go with dispone. Anyway, uh, accelerating ECG, lower b benfluorex, and sleeping problems. Interview: The patient has been de uh, deepening his knowledge about the the reversal in astrophysical phenomena throughout recent years. Three weeks and two days ago, he formulated a theory of a white hole, the antithesis of a black hole. According to the patient, a white hole expels what has been absorbed by a black hole. And when a white hole and a black hole move closer to other, the tunnel may, be, may appear between them. A diagnosis, anxiety neurosis caused by severe stress, a strained work, work of the brain in the evening or night hours, and body fatigue. In conclusion, the patient did not define what kind of formation process expelled by a white hole and previously absorbed by a back black hole. Implicitly, in another dimension, caused by such a strong anxiety re caused such a strong anxiety reaction in him. He also did not specify a reason why the mentioned tunnel would threaten his sense of security. However, his repeated words and he sorry his repeated words and created drawings indicate a direct connection between the hypothesis and anxiety neurosis recommendation immediate discontinuation of research close medical close medical observation and anti-stress therapy in case of no improvement a monthly hibernation sorry what you can hibernate i'll take the hibernation that's great uh okay and then i mean something happened because i'm seeing three gunshots here and he's just like chill Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Not every... Everything... Everywhere... Rise for us. Not everything rise for us? Yeah, okay. Alright, fine. Uh, let's move on, let's move on. What else are we going to see around here? I've, we've got... I thought this was going to be a probe station, but it's not. It's just a medical station. That's also just a medical station. We've got... What have we got here? Protection against the flies. Chemical methods. GABA can be given to crew before going to Riger's 3 surface. Too long waiting period before taking effect. Significantly reduces the ability to perform tasks. Uh, so, I, I believe GABA is a neurotransmitter. Um, they considered even the most absurd forms of protection against a cloud. And I don't blame them. Definitely wanted to try and stop it affecting you. What? What is going on? Are these people just sat down and gave up? Is that what's happened here? Oh, we got another bit of paper. Protection against the flies. Electric camouflage. The wiped out brain shows little electric activity and according to the latest reports, flies are no longer interested in their victims. Conclusion, we need to hide the activity of healthy brains. Cap of invisibility. Thin metal mesh under the hair. Emission of weak electrical impulses greater than imitating an erased brain. No available test object. Without further test, this test is just a prototype. Wait. Wait. Are you telling me there's a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Somewhere around here. We're going to find... Wait, are you safe? I can't... What have you got? The machine introduces point magnetic impulses into the brain, causing a depolarized current which stimulates the selected area of the cortex as well as other areas. Consequently, tissue neuroplasticity and neurogenesis will increase. Preliminary hypothesis, this method will allow subjects to learn language again and understand complex social situations. Recovering memory, however, 
is impossible. Okay, so we've got a cure for some stuff. So apparently there's hope. We can... No. Wait. The memories won't come back. So much for the hope. No, but we can teach them again. We can hope that they learn to be people. It's kind of hard learning to be a person. So, I mean, we can't, we can't blame them for their lack of ability there. Uh, this is a view of the outside. Oh my gosh, look at it. There's like water over there. Is that the sea? Is that the one we were talking about? Is that the one we, we where everyone went and did their thing? Can I press this button? Can we zoom? It, it, it's got no idea. Wait, let's bring that back up. It's got no idea for the auto zoom. And all I can zoom in on is the window. Okay. If we tap, oh, there we go. Beautiful. And now zoom in on this. Keep cranking, keep cranking. No, it turns out it's too far. It's too far. It doesn't know how to focus. Even if we have it set all the way to the end, that's the best focus I can get. But is is that the beach? That's what I'm trying to say. Is that well? So where's my camp around here? Did we camp somewhere around here? A little moat of something. I'm, I'm guessing it's just dust. Hmm. I wish we could see like a base or something like that. Get some sort of idea about where we were supposed to be relative to where we know. Is that? Am I supposed to be able to read that? I don't. Th I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to read that. If I'm supposed to be able to, they failed at it. If I'm not, oh, they they nailed it. A plaque commemorating the thousandth voyage of the Alliance beyond the solar system. We pay tribute and salute to all the pioneers of space travel united under the Alliance banner. It is their hard work and unwavering determination that allows us to lead the way in exploring extra extraterrestrial frontiers. Reminder, during every field mission, please keep in mind the universal moonwalk regulation. This rule stipulates that when the surface of celestial bodies other than Earth, your movements, gait, and method, method mobility should be adjusted to the special conditions that the location detail of that location. Detailed instructions for movement will be provided by, will be provided by a designated member of each unit. Okay, was it you? Were you supposed to know how to walk? Were you supposed to know how to walk? I think they've all failed at the walking, though. Uh, where are we? There's some tape going on over here. Wait. This. Professor Asmia found outside the base on the 24th day of the mission. Symptoms, lack of awareness, akinesia, mutism, amnesia, no response to complex stimuli. Causes unknown. Wake up set to the 46th day of the mission. Time for research process, 22 days. Okay. Okay, so like stuff. Hmm. There's a lot of scribbles going on over the top of some very important stuff. Some rooms were changed. See the table. Big, big table, okay. It's in here. Block H. Just out exploring the medical center because that's good. Oh! We know this one. Sep Spellicus? I can't remember. The, the speleologist. And then, where's the other guy? Body in a hibernator? He couldn't get out. Poor bastard. And then the power shut down. He just, like, throw, uh, thawed out in an uncontrolled manner. Empty syringe. Richard must have given them something to calm them down. As he did in a hideout. I mean, if they're not... There, there's our buddy, Lendor. Nice. If they're not... <sighs> There should be more drugs around here somewhere. If they're not responsive, what I mean, does it really matter if you put them into a drugged up stupor? I don't know. Post hibernation, the day after waking up, do not anticipate uh, do not It says anticipate, but shouldn't be participate in a heavy uh, mental or physical activity. It might overwork your body that was weakened during the hibernation. During the day, drink at least two liters of water. Please refrain from drinking at once. Um, is that dose your intake to small portions and drink every two to three hours? Do not eat any sweet desserts and drink beverages in the span of two hours from waking. Try to accommodate in your room and do not do any hard exercise. If you experience any pain, contact the doctor. Okay. Should be drugs around anyway. This, this is what we were told. So where do we... There we go. Look at that. Let's grab huh. that. This soporific could be useful. 
Well, I prefer not to have to use it. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to just talk him down, but if we can stick him in the neck with a nice little relaxant, then that'll be fine, right? That'll be fine. What's over this way? Hello? Well, this is um, interesting. Can I, can I get the cigarettes? He was in here, look. He, he was here having a smoke, doing a broadcast. Almost guarantee it. Could have at least, you know, woken me up or whatever. I can't go any further. We are we are stopped. Okay, that's fine. We're learning stuff about the situation though. Mostly just about how dire it was, how bad things have got. Well, they're they're asleep and we are moving on. That is that the whole medic wing? I think that might well be the whole medic wing. Oh look, it's um meteorites, chondrites and chondrites, irons, stony iron, chondrite. Where's where's the nickel iron? I suppose that is the the iron, right? Okay, all right. Well, that, that that that's cool. That's cool. I know I know about asteroids already, though. So let's carry on sweeping round. Oh, this is open. Hey, what have we got here? Through skull interneural stimulator, commonly known as the grave tapper. User manual function registers the last conscious recordings of an already dead brain. Method sending electrical impulses through the no those nerve fibers, which in the terminal state formed a functional entirety. One should proceed along the, along the lines of the following scheme. Use TIS to cleanse the skin cleanse the skin on the deceased foreheads. Attach six flat electrodes with ele elastic tape to the areas labeled on the schema. Set dials in the in the apparatus according to the provided values and activate TIS by pushing the start button. Take on headphones attached to the apparatus. Observe the last recordings of the deceased brains. Attention! The foregoing manual should be applied only in the case of a recently deceased or a deceased in an early stage of decay. This results in the examina- uh, The results of this examination are deemed uncertain and potentially unethical. Okay, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm alright with that. Is this, is this the thing? No, surely that's not the thing. Where, where is it? We, we've talked about this before. We talked about it with uh, with Merit, right? How how we were going to look into her brain and see, but like there was nothing there because her brain had been wiped out. Um, yeah, that that that's a thing. This doesn't go anywhere. This is a a very very dark wall. That's fine. This one, hey, ooh, that looks kind of funky. We're still on Condor. That's true. Reapplication for permission to develop private projects. I hereby submit a second request for permission to proceed with development of a reading devices I tentatively name Optone and Lectone. I would like to challenge the opinions of the higher up engineers who have claimed my concepts were mere fantasies and the collection of ideal ideas lacking real functionality. I have created a prototype of the Optone as evidence of its feasibility. I wish to re uh, reiterate the foundations of my concepts. I firmly believe that the blood vision the blood visions of the fancy writer working under the super pseudonym Lem can be ex ex executed. The entirety of cosmic knowledge will no longer be preserved on the ma materials of natural origin. Books will take the form of crystals inscribed with their contents. These crystals can be read using the aforementioned optone. I am designing it to resemble a book, but with one singular page between the covers. A single touch will be sufficient to turn the page. Its advantages, it, this will be a faithful simulation of the reading experience and a remarkable space-saving solution in our libraries. This will significantly expand our knowledge, our knowledge storage capabilities, thereby giving us a competitive edge in the interplanetary arena. Note: for the presentation purposes, I will include the content of a story in honor of the invincible within the Optone. The second concept, verified by me, is a reader with the audio playback function. It may be dedicated to those who are at the helm of the ship and wish to pass their time. Uh, their travel time broadening their horizons through literature. Consequently, I do not rule out the possibility of presenting the story, the story in an audio format. In summary, in summary, I kindly request a favorable consideration of this application and the scheduling of a presentation date so immediately after our departure from Rigers 3 so that I can promptly continue with development work on the Loptone and the Lectone. Okay, that, that's cool. Whoever M is got some work on the go. This, I mean, it doesn't look like a book. That does though. Okay, interesting. I mean, it does kind of sound like they're just talking about a Kindle. How much more is there of this medical bay? It is 
huge lots of lots of shut doors thankfully i'm just going by the left hand rule and uh, i think with that i am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you next time uh where we're gonna take the take the bridge up there's another there's another door over here where does this go where, oh this is the lift but i will see you then oh when we're gonna do that bye